Hi everyone and welcome to my channel today. I'm going to do some little, um, I guess they're tags for my personal journal. In this Things to Cut Out collage book, there is a page of superheroes. Um, I probably can't put my hands on it straight away, but um, I've been looking at it for a while thinking, how can I use those um, in something that I'm doing? And a couple of things came together, I guess. Um, I also have some tags that are, they're clothing tags that I have. They're quite sturdy, actually. They're quite thick. Um, and I've covered the back of them already. And I thought, you know what, that make great, um, like little tuck spots maybe in a journal or tags. So what I thought I'd do is I'd make some of these. Now, they're kind of retro-y with that superhero coloring. Um, so I've cut out the ones that I like, the superheroes that I liked out of the book and some of the sayings like those. And I've collected together the colors that I sort of feel go with the pictures. So what I've got is to start with, I've got some backgroundy ones. I've got some grid paper and I've got some book text. Now I tried to get the whitest one I could because I felt that went better with the colors. Um, and I've also got some colored scrap bits of paper that go with the colors of the superheroes. And it's basically all I did was I layered up or made a collage of the colors. Um, I did a background first and then put the um, little sentiment and the superhero on. So I thought I'd make a couple um, on camera. Now really all I did was simply layer up the papers. I started I guess with these, with the sort of the plainer ones and then added the little bits later. Um, so just using some of the little scraps that I already have. Okay so basically we'll start with now I'm using my art glitter glue because on the first one I did use glue the glue stick but I felt that I wasn't 100% sure that it was going to stick to this because they're, they're almost a sort of um, a gloss. They're kind of a matte but a gloss if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I thought I might, rather than risk it, I thought I'd use the art glitter glue for the second one. Now of course once I put this first layer down, I will build up the rest of it. But the thing with these is if you want the little hole here, Make sure that whenever you cover a side, you keep punching the hole so that you don't lose the hole. Okay, so now I've done that bit. And I'm not fussed that you can see a little bit through there because by the time you've added the extra bits, it really doesn't matter. And I'm just cutting around the shape. And of course, you could do any shape you like. If you've got some of the um, rectangular tags, use those. But for me, I just thought they were a great um, little embellishment that I can use on those days where I actually feel like I've achieved something or, well, I kind of felt like a superhero. Not that that happens very often, but you know how some days you just think, yeah, I've got everything done on my list. Um, wow, a great day. So I thought you know what, I need a couple of things for that, so that's what I've done. Now, um, okay, we might go, we'll use this one. Now, she's got blue and goldy, um, slightly orange there, but I think I'll have to get rid of her feet. So, I um, might use some of the golder colours, and I'm just sort of going to fit it around like so. Um, how can I do this? Maybe like that. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of red just because I can. I think I like that. Yep. Okay, so now the trick is to glue them in the places that you want them. I'm not too fussed that I'm covering most of the background. Um, it's there, just to break up the colours, I guess. And again, trim around what you've done. 
You could do the trimming at the end, but I find it's easier when you're looking at placement of things to know the shape that you're working with. And I'm trying to keep straight edges too, as opposed to circular bits. You could, of course, that's up to you, and it may look, look better that way. Now that goes this way. And I'm trying to keep the text in the right direction too. I think it looks better if it's in the right direction. Now she was going to sit somehow like that. And I think we'll have BAM. Let's see. Now maybe I might have to move her up a little bit. Or maybe choose a smaller one. No, they're all the same. Okay, that might have to go. I think I'll put it behind her like that. But what I'm going to do... On this one, I thought the colours look better if I broke them up with black. So I've used a couple of black strips of paper and then a black marker to do the other bits. So I think, and I think my strips were a little bit thick there, so I'm actually going to make them a bit narrower. So I've just got some black, and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not being too fussy with it. Okay, I think that one might go there. So I'm going to stick that down. I just thought they were a fun thing to add to my journals. I'm always looking for extra little embellishments to add to my journals. Uh, we might, I think we might do a dark one there as well, or a heavier line. So, let that dry a little bit before I do the rest of it but I'll pop those with that so I know where they're going okay let's have a look at this one um, okay we might just find some bits of paper it's um, quite warm in this room at the moment I can feel myself getting warmer and warmer so I don't think I'll be in here too very long today unfortunately uh, what else have we got we've got a different one yep here we do You could work th work these as a production line too, I guess. Do all the the backgrounds and then the next layer and then the next layer. It's um, entirely up to you how you work, I guess. Now I hope I've actually got that close enough. And yeah, this one's going to need. Now I might let that dry while I do this one. Um, and of course I need some of this, don't I? Hope everyone's really good. And I'm doing some crafting along the way. doing my own personal journal journaling but I haven't really done a lot of making of other journals or anything I um, I guess I'm at the point where I've got it enough myself personally and um, I think you kind of get to a point where you go well you can only make so many things 
um, I'm at the point where I've got too many things. Even even if I journal every single day, the amount of embellishments and little bits and pieces that I have, way too many, way too many. I need to, um, I think, start sending out some happy mail. I have got some in my uh, my my website store. But um, I've got to be honest, I don't spend a lot of time looking at my website store or doing too much with it. I do know when an order comes through, of course, because they send me an email, but I have to be honest, I'm a little bit lazy with it. Okay, so I've got two new bases, so I'm looking at this one. Now, I'm not sure, this one's a mermaid, I'm not sure how that fits into being a superhero, but never mind. All right, we might put Pal there, and she can go on this one. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. Now, she's got light green and a bit of orange and the yellow and red. So, let's have a look. We might have, I've got a dark green here, which I think will go okay. So, I might pop that across there. This one's got stars. I wonder if I could use that somehow. Um, I'm not sure how that would go. I think I like it just the plain sort of diagonal look. Let's see what comes that side. So while well, that one's sort of sitting there, um, now this one's the orange one. I like this orange piece of paper here with the fireworks. So I'm thinking across there or maybe this way for this one. Yep. like the comic books. Okay. Of course I'm making a mess. There's bits and pieces everywhere now. It's amazing how much you can get yourself into a mess just by making a few simple little things. But I'm sure I'm not the only one. Because that's what we crafters do. Where's this green one? Now, let me see. She was going like this. So, we might have that one like that. Or would it be better up there? Probably better up there. Yep. So, it's a little bit of layering, a little bit of collaging. And that orangey, it's quite a bright, really orange. Um, what have I got? Got this red, I might pop that, or I do have this one actually, which I might use that. I might go like that, and um, I'm not sure which one was going with which one now. Maybe like that. Oh no, I'm not sure. I don't really like that. I think I prefer the brighter. Maybe that way. Yep, I think I like that better. Alright, I'll let that dry just a little bit. Now this one, she was going like so. She's definitely mostly orange. But we can put a little bit of yellow. Um, let's have a look. Okay, what I might do is make it need a bit of a square there. So we might pop that there. Great for using up all those little scrappy bits. And as I said, if you don't like the straight angles, you can use the curved parts. There's nothing wrong with that. Now I do need another colour. Oh, I hope you can see. I've just realised I'm probably off. Let's see if I can make it a bit bigger. Okay, that's probably better. Now, I really hope you can see, now that I've looked at it, I'm thinking, oh dear. Oh well, if you can't see most of the video, you won't see the video, so it won't be a problem. Alright, uh, so, a bit of red. No, I don't want the red. 
There's a little bit of purple in there, but it's not quite that purple. Will it matter? Will it matter? Maybe not. Maybe we'll do that. Yep, I think we'll do that. We'll fill up that space. So it's just a matter of filling up the spaces. Oh, hang on, what have we got here? Oh, there we go. Hopefully this will be big enough now. Not quite. Um, no, what we'll do is we'll put a black strip in there. So as I said, great way to use up all those little scraps. Now that's not straight enough for me. speed up the video at this point so that, that it doesn't get too long for you. Now what I am doing, I am outlining the cutouts as well, just very lightly with black. Just makes it stand out a little bit more, I think. So I find it easy with a chisel um, permanent marker, but um, you can use any one that you find useful. Right now I'm going to, before I stick them down, do a black line on the edge here, like so. Just trim all that off. Okay, now this one is like so. I think my camera has been has moved. I'm not sure because I seem to not know where to work. Let me see. How can I fix that? Um, I don't think I can. I'll have to just try really hard to work in the middle. On, I think this one's smaller, so I might pop this one here. Oops. Oh. Gosh. Put that one there. Give that a second to dry. Now this one needs a little bit here. Oops, that one wasn't so good. I might actually put, hopefully I haven't uh, wrecked the marker, puts a black line on that one. Yep, that will be better. The skill of fixing up your mistakes, great skill to have, I think. All right, now, okay. Now I seem to have missed one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we might just. Do the lines on this one as well. And 
then we'll start sticking everything down. Yep. Okay. All right, and to finish it off, what I do, I use a black. Now that just needs a little bit of a trim there. Now let's just finish this one. All right, last thing to do is to put um, some holes in the top. Just close my art glue, glue since it's so warm it'll probably dry up on me. All right, now I'm using the 1 8 little hole on my um, big bite. I don't really need to do these. I could probably... Um, not but you never know I might decide to put something on them or something when I'm using them in my journal okay so I will put pictures um, to at the end so you, if you really want to have a look at a closer look but there we go I think they look pretty cool actually all right so thank you very much for joining me I hope the video is in shot most of the time and I will see you again soon bye for now <laughs>